Hey guys, Clint here with Classic Firearms coming at you guys again from Take Aim Training and Range on yet another, God bless it, beautiful and hot day. But it might be hot, but not as hot as the Panzer BP-12. Now, if you guys have been around the channel for any length of time, you've definitely seen this guy featured in some of our videos. Ben hit up this gun uh, not too long ago, talking about how awesome it is. And we also featured, if you saw, when we did a little scientific experiment with uh, a YouTuber by the name of Tavarish, he actually shot this guy here, and we were actually trying to do a little bit of a uh, science experiment about what was louder, a 50 BMG or a twin turbo Lambo. Tavarish is a car guy, and uh, you know what, just go check that video out actually if you wanna see what the uh, results are. Anyway, Tavares shot this, had a heck of a lot of fun, and we also announced in that video that we were giving away a 50 cal at that time. And I think we all agreed that the 50 cal actually shot relatively light, and it was a nice shooting gun in comparison to shooting some slugs out of the bullpup that you see right here, guys. But what I've got is the Panzer Arms BP-12. You guys might know of the AR-12, which is looks like a standard AR-15, except, you know, it's chambered in 12 gauge. What's up, butterfly? Anyway, this guy, same thing, has similar type of AR controls, except uh, <laughs> he wants to hang out and take a look at the BP also. Anyway, similar controls, but it's also in a bullpup configuration. So what does that mean? That means that your entire action is taking place rear of the trigger assembly right here. So your magazine well, where the, where the your chamber, where the rounds are getting loaded into place and the actual firing of the firearm is taking place all right back here instead of forward of the trigger assembly like most standard rifles are. So pretty neat. And what I like about this is for a home defense setup, guys, you're talking about a 12 gauge semi-auto shotgun that comes with two five round mags in an overall configuration of less than 31 inches. Pretty awesome. It's got a 20 inch barrel on it. Can you believe that? A 20 inch barrel on something that's 30 inches overall. So that means you've just got 10 inches of stock ultimately. So pretty sweet. Definitely liking that. But all right, let's get into this guy a little bit here. You'll notice that you've got a faux suppressor that acts as kind of like a barrel shroud. Uh, you can, <laughs> anytime I say barrel shroud, I can't help but to think of that interview on TV. It's just type in barrel shroud after this video and you'll see what I'm talking about. Anyway, so yeah, you've got a little faux suppressor that acts as a barrel shroud. Coming back a little bit further, your upper receiver, which includes your Picatinny rail, uh, is 7075 aluminum. And yes, you've got Picatinny rail at your top here, which is great because it does come with some flip up sights. So if you wanted to throw on any type of optic or anything, you have that room to do it, but it does come up with your flip up sights. Uh, you've also got Picatinny right on your left and right hand side of the firearm. So if you wanted to throw on any type of lights or lasers or side grips or whatever the heck you want to do, you can do that. And on the bottom, it does come with an already built in angled foregrip, which is pretty nice. And it's actually pretty ergonomic and feels good everything about it's just pretty natural i actually like that it comes included with it it feels good i think it you know resonates well with this firearm now also too you'll notice on the side of the picatinny here or on the side where the picatinny is you do have qd sling swivel so if you did want to throw a sling on this guy you can do it but you've also got a standard sling swivel right up front underneath your uh, barrel shroud so very cool coming back a little bit further interesting thing about this here is you can charge this kind of like a ak with a charging handle right here or like an ar which is with this uh, oversized charging handle so pretty neat that they did that mostly an ambidextrous firearm uh, you do have your ambi mag release you got a button right here that drops the mag and also right back here just push that guy mag comes free nice safety is also ambi you'll see it on the left side and also on the right side very cool charging handle naturally i'm going to consider that ambidextrous very nice uh, it's just your bolt hold open right here or your bolt release is only on the left hand side of the firearm however i'm still going to consider that ambi simply because you can use this your charging handle on the right side after you have a loaded mag inserted crank it back and it's going to go forward easy day cool very nice again coming with two five round mags definitely a fan of that uh, the lower on this guy is a impact resistant polymer on it so that keeps down the weight a little bit which is very nice and also if you ever get to uh 
or if you have handled a uh, bullpup design before, you notice just how balanced they are. All of that weight and everything is right towards the middle rear of the firearm, so you don't have a whole lot of weight down here, which is very nice, so that way you can actually, you know, keep this guy held if you need to for a length of time, any length of time, and it'll feel very nice and comfortable. Also too, while I'm just looking down the sights here, the sights are also very nice. Uh, they're very prominent, and it's very easy to get a good sight picture on it. Again, just a very ergonomic firearm. I like it a lot. And also too, you'll notice right here, you do have an adjustable cheek riser, so you can get that correct comb height to whatever is works for you. You just got this guy little right here, twist it, raise it, lower it, whatever you want to do. Right now it's just on its lower setting, which is great for the eye relief that you need on the sights. To get that perfect sight picture, right? Very cool. And of course these are, uh, again, the polymer flip-ups are adjustable for windage and elevation. Nice. All right, also too, this guy comes with a little cleaning kit, comes with all sorts of little wrenches and whatever else you might need to remove the faux suppressor, uh, to take it apart, do whatever you wanna do, you can do it. But ultimately, I just, I really am a fan of these guns. They're affordable, they're fun as heck to shoot, and a bullpup design, who doesn't love that? Am I right? Man, all right. I think I've jabbered enough about it. Oh, anything else you wanna talk about? Ergonomics, oh yeah, the grip on it. I'm typically not a fan of those A2 style AR15 and 16 type grips. This one right here does have a little bit of a protrusive finger groove on it, similar to the A2, but it's actually not bad. I think that's because it has more of a rubber overmold to it than being like a hard plastic, like you know your standard AR grip is, and it just annoys me. This has a little bit of give and kind of conforms to the hand a little bit, so it actually feels very comfortable to get that grip on there. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of A2 grips, but like the Fostec Sabre grip is a great example of one that did it right. That one's very comfortable, very ergonomic, and this one kind of, uh, I guess you could say, kind of favors that just a little bit. So you got a little bit of a palm swell right back here. Nice gap, or I guess you'd say, uh, just overall, just a nice feel. I, I like it quite a bit. Let me just leave it off at that. All right. Uh, anything else I want to talk about? Grips, angled grip, bolt release, bolt catch, charging handles. Last round hold open on it. Nice. Yeah. Let's shoot it. <laughs> oh yeah. So it definitely slows you down if you're walking forward and shooting, that's for sure. Shooting these two and three, one quarter, one ounce slugs. Whole lot of fun, but you can definitely tell you're, you're shooting something with some true knockdown power, that is for sure. But uh, ultimately too, shooting these two and three quarter inch slugs, one ounce slugs at that, Really not bad, guys. Uh, that thick recoil pad back here back here helps mitigate that recoil some, and then just the overall ergonomics of the firearm does a good job too. So let's go ahead and see that one more time. There it is, nice. About knocked the target over. <laughs> Last round bolt hold open. Very cool, and of course you've got your magazine release on this side, but again, we've got it right over here as well. So hit this little guy, pops right out, nice. Find a nice little uh, patch of grass for it there. But let's go ahead and load up that second mag. All right, very cool. Again, loading it just like you would in AR, very nice. Woo. Oh yeah, that is a heck of a lot of fun, guys. Definitely gonna like these, that is for sure. Coming with that angled grip, Picatinny rail all around, very nice. Oh yeah. All right, I think I've had I would like to send some more rounds down range with it, but it's getting a little bit later in the day. Fine, fine, fine. All right, let's finish this video out over there at the bench. <laughs> So I don't know if you could tell by the look on my face or not, but I actually really enjoy shooting this thing, even slugs through it, guys. That thick recoil pad back here definitely helps mitigate that recoil some, and uh, it's just a heck of a lot of fun, all right? Now, if you guys saw any of our SHOT Show coverage or if you actually got by our booth and said, hey, you noticed we had a BP-12 hanging up on our wall and we actually had a drum mag attached to it. Yes, you can put a drum, a drum mag in this. However, it is not ergonomic whatsoever. Uh, it's, it's not comfortable to hold to shoulder or anything. So there's that. However, AR-12 BP-12 mags are plentiful. So if you guys are looking for five rounders, 10 rounders, the drums even, we've got them. So be sure to check those out. And uh, yeah, what more can I say? Talking about mags though. It doesn't take Glock mags, but you know what does? It's sitting right here next to me. But before we get onto that, 
I've got one more mag loaded up here. Let's just, why not, right? Why not just send more, a couple more rounds down range. I like it. Oh yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. You can't go wrong with that, guys. That is just way too much fun. Mm. Put some bird shot in that thing, watch it really spray, you know what I mean? Ah, uh, yeah. All right, super sweet, guys. Again, this is the Panzer Arms BP-12 semi-auto shotgun coming with two five-round mags. Heck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now, before I talk about this guy, God, it's just so pretty. Uh, let's just talk about this guy. This is our current giveaway, guys. This right here is a Tipman Armory Gatling gun, chambered in 9mm, and guess what? It takes Glock mags. Yes, you already knew I was ready to say it. It takes Glock mags. So like this ETS that, I, that I've got right here, if you guys saw a cool little uh, video that uh, Ryan put together there, he saw, you saw it where the mag, where the rounds were being fed, kind of slow motion, it was super cool. So check out our Instagram and Facebook for that because we've got all sorts of cool content there, so don't miss out on it. But you can get your entries in on this guy by going to classicfirearms.com, hitting that, that pretty much uh, win this here or enter here to win this contest or contest or whatever the heck it is that our guys decided to throw up there. There's a big old banner on the homepage that you click on and you have all these different links that you can click on to get different entries. Of course, referring your friends gets you those 900 entries, so make sure you got good friends that, you know, are gonna help you win a Gatling gun. If not, what do I say? Get new friends, so there you go. Gatling gun, don't miss out on it. BP-12s, AR-12s, all of our Panzer line of shotguns, don't miss out on those. And guys, as always, we appreciate you and your business, and if you haven't already, go ahead and give us a like because slugs and Gatling guns, and God bless you all. We'll see you next time at classicfirearms.com.